In this idiom segment, we're going to look at some funny idioms and their meanings, and I'll be giving some examples on how to use the idioms in a sentence. But be warned, they may have you raiding a fridge at midnight. No! Now, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that you'll enjoy this video. Hi, I'm Manoj from SinglishToEnglish.com and when someone tells you to keep your fingers crossed, it means wishing for something to come true. When I said earlier, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, you will enjoy this video, I'm wishing you will enjoy this video. As explained in the author Charles Panati's book, Extraordinary Origins of Everyday Things, crossing your fingers is making a sign of luck as it resembles a cross. The cross is a symbol of unity and making a wish on the cross is believed to make that wish come true. Now, when we say cross your fingers, it is a figure of speech to mean the same thing without actually crossing your fingers. That was as easy as pie, wasn't it? The idiom easy as pie means something that is very easy or simple to do. It does not mean making a pie is easy. It means how easy it is to eat pie. The first reference to easy as pie was back in 1887 in the Rhode Island newspaper, the Newport Mercury, an amusing conversation between two people discussing that it was as easy as pie to steal silverware and sell it for a few dollars. From pie to cake, or rather, a piece of cake. This idiom means the same thing as easy as pie. Finding a solution to the puzzle was a piece of cake for Kiran as he is good at solving puzzles. Finding the solution to the puzzle was as easy as pie for Kiran as he is good at solving puzzles. Now that was a piece of cake. Still on the dessert menu of idioms, this one is the icing on the cake. There doesn't seem to be a specific origin to this delicious idiom, except that when a bonus good thing happens on top of something that is already good, then that extra good thing is the icing on the cake. Taken literally, cake is already a sweet treat. So when it is iced as well, this icing is that extra sweet treat that you get on top of the cake. My daughter got a place in a good school, but the icing on the cake for her was getting a tuition scholarship as well. If my daughter had done badly in her exams, I would have chewed her out. If you chew someone out, it means to really scold them. This idiom refers to the movement of the mouth while scolding. It's like grinding the person with your teeth, chewing out. This idiom has been around since World War II, but recorded in the Oxford English Dictionary in 1948. It is an army reference to being told off by a superior officer, and later it came into use in everyday life. The school principal chewed me out when he heard about the prank I played on my school teacher. We're nearly done with our yummy idioms for today. Let's go back to square one and do a quick recap. Hmm, did I just say back to square one? There's another idiom for you, it means starting all over again. This idiom may have originated from the game of snakes and ladders. When landing on the square with the snake's head takes you back to square one. It was first used in print as an idiom in the economic journal in 1952. He has the problem of maintaining the interest of the reader. Always been sent back to square one in a sort of intellectual game of snakes and ladders. But this idiom could have come from the game of hopscotch as well. Where you hop from square to square and back again to square one. Ooh. Now for that recap, let's start all over again 
and look at our delicious idioms from the beginning. Cross your fingers, easy as pie, piece of cake, icing on the cake, choose someone out, and back to square one. That's it for our delicious idioms lesson. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. I really enjoy teaching idioms. I would love to hear from you, so please leave your comments below. There will be one more video on idioms before we take this fantastic journey to another topic, so watch out for that. If you like this video, please share it with your family and friends, and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and bye. Thank you.